E.T., the worst game ever from Atari. You know, I don't really believe that. I do think the game is flawed, but I don't think that it killed Atari. They did that to themselves with over-saturating the market with terrible games. So, today I wanted to play it and talk about it and maybe have a little humor with it. I think where the game falls short is its difficulty and the layout is not well defined. And I've played many video games and I don't think it's the most broken video game ever. That would have to go to Big Rigs if you've ever played that. The point of the game is to help E.T. find three parts of his phone so he can call home. It's not the terrible concept, but finding the pieces and getting away from the doctors and the, and the detectives is a lot of work. Without further ado, let's take a look at the gameplay. All right, welcome to E.T. for the Atari 2600. To start out, we have the opening screen, and to be honest, the E looks a little <laughs> sort of like an E, and the T, I see it. And the drawing in 8-bit of E.T. is actually quite nice. And actually, the 8-bit rendition of the E.T. theme is actually pretty good, too. Myself, I enjoy 8-bit music, so I could keep listening to this, but... You came here for the gameplay. So, let's get started. Oh, why? Why did I choose to do this? Good grief. So, E.T. comes down, and at the bottom is your health meter, life meter, whatever you want to call it. Is. And as you move around, um, that will go down. And let's get E.T. walking. Yeah, he walks around. I think it's a forest. I don't really know. So actually, I never noticed that before on the top, it looks like some information about where to go. But at the moment, I'm being followed. Oh! And the infamous holes. Holes throughout the game that are really hard to get out of. Awesome! Let's try it. Up we go. Hopefully we get out of the hole. Nope! Well, that's what I figured. Every single time I've played this game, I have the same bloody problem. You can't get out of the hole. Nope. Come right back in the hole, and if you, um, come on. If you come back up, well, guess what? You'll have someone trying to kill you. Or actually, oh, there he goes. He's going to take me. And I think he takes me to a hospital or something. I don't know. As you can see, it's not very descriptive of what is exactly you're looking at. So I think the pieces to your phone are actually in the holes. I don't really know, really don't care. Come on, yep. All right, I got out of a hole. Thank goodness, question mark. And there I go, I get taken away. I wonder what that two means down there. Two times I've been taken away by crazy peeps. All right, shall we go in another hole? Maybe they're not in the hole. Who knows? Who cares? Hey, maybe I figured out how to get out of the holes. So I think if you get out of the hole, what you do is you press the button on the joystick and come up, keep coming up, and then you navigate away. Well, try to navigate away from the hole. Nope! Bloody holes. <laughs> yeah. Too, too bad there wasn't any enemies to fight down here or something. Do you remember E.T. being green? Wasn't he more brown? I think it would have been better if E.T. was more brown looking. Wait a minute. Where are you going, E.T.? Not even touching you, and you keep moving. 
and I go right up into some fool. Let's try, come on, this way. Nope. Well, my life meter's halfway done. And here I go up again. Here I go down again. I swear this game is just coming in and out of holes. Is there, is there maybe a way to like, what if you come over here and get to the, try to get out of the hole that way? Any, nope. Thought I had it a minute ago, I really did. Any suggestions? Comments? I'll take anything. Is this? Socks. Ah! Say, the sound effects are intriguing. Certainly a Atari sound effects. Ooh! Hey! Got a piece to my phone! Woo! So apparently you have to push the button before you can start going up. Okay. Nope. Oh! Down the hole we go. Just say my life meter is starting to get a little low here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it. Not that I've ever beat this game. Not that I ever will. Not that I care. Yep, it's downhill from here. Alrighty, what a fun game. Come on. Up we go and prepare to die. And there's apparently the boy. Sad, sad day. 1500. How did I get 1500? Huh. Did he like heal me or something? I didn't even know that was a feature of the game. Is it maybe because I got one piece of the phone? Yeah, that's the thing about this game is, I and mean, yes, I know there probably is an instruction manual, but with most Atari games, you don't have to pick it up. You just know how to do it. And maybe, maybe that's the one of the flaws of the game as well. So I thought I was gonna die. In fact, I wish I would have died, but nope. I'm still playing. Still falling in holes. You know, they should rename this game E.T. Falling in Holes. Maybe just falling in holes. You know, for, forget that it was even a part of a movie. Just say that you fall in holes and you have to get out. And that's the end. Alright, am I dead? Please let me be dead. I'm not dead! No! I still have to play this stupid game? I, I told myself that I would play until I died. Well, kind of hard to stop if you keep coming back to life. Alright. Okay. Okay, that sounds a little bit... maybe? Yep, game over. Thank goodness. Well, that was as terrible as expected. I haven't played that in a long time, and I have a feeling I won't play it for a really long time again. First time I played it, I remember years ago with an actual Atari emulator that you had to download, find the ROM, and put it into the program. After saying about 10 years, we've come really far. So, there you have it, E.T. I hope you did not lose your marbles. As for me, I'm going to find another cup of coffee.